Pro Landscape Painting Techniques with Fred Choate. Uh, before we start doing the painting, I would like to do a small preliminary sketch. And while I'm doing this sketch, I'd like to explain to you how to interpret a photograph into an oil painting. The, fir the first thing you have to do is learn how to break it down, break the photograph down into values. Now I'm going to show you on this photograph here that we're going to paint from, there's, a, there's a, a hillside, there are foothills here in the background. There are values in, this, in these foothills that are just as dark as the values up here. If I'm doing this painting and I have values this dark in the background, that are just as dark as this, it's going to look very disjointed. It's not going to have any kind of atmospheric perspective. So what I'm going to start out with the sketch is showing you how to produce atmospheric perspective. And this starts, oh, oh probably up in here, comes across, and then it gradually comes down. You see, I, I've done this with three straight lines. If I, I can do it with a curve, and then I have a line with no interest. If I, if I come in here with a straight line, I've got little points of interest, little places for the eye to rest. But I just, okay, there's my water line. Then this hillside comes in and goes up at an angle, something like that. I, I have had given no attention to detail. I just, I want to know where things are, not at this point, not what they are. Now, now we're going to get to value. And value, accurate value block in is the most important thing you're going to be cons considering in your, in your painting. I can put a little, few little dots in here for these little points of light that are coming through those bushes. Okay, and then I've got to use the, I'm going to use that same, that same color value now to put in where the sky is reflecting in the water. First, and then your painting will go much better. This is the foundation of every painting. You know, don't trust the value relationships in your photographs. Now, look at them for the image, but not the value relationships. You have to create the atmospheric perspective by using these rules.